As a group of athletes, the GB women created a vision, which was to be the difference, create history and inspire the future. That's what we're aiming to do today by visiting a local primary school. Let's see how we get on. When we won the gold medal, it opened doors for me as an athlete to go into schools and talk to children about some really important issues, which hopefully they can really relate to. I tend to visit about 45 to 50 primary schools uh, a year with Inspire Plus. Who here feels the pressure of having to get a good school report at the end of the year? As players, we're really quite accessible for top level athletes. Um, and I think all of us take real pride into going out into schools, into clubs, into businesses. So how does pressure make you feel? Angry. Annoyed. Scared. Sad. Scores! Talk about coping mechanisms, so how to deal with pressure at school, at home, from friends, from social situations. Did you feel more pressure in the semi-final or the final all in Rio? It was the semi-final which I felt more pressure. The final, you know, we'd already won an Olympic medal, whether it be gold or silver, and it was really just about enjoying it. Because we won gold medal at Rio, there is now an increased pressure on us, there's increased expectation. Um, but as a squad and as an individual, I think that pressure is a privilege. Seems I've always been competitive. Five-year-old Shane McAllen showed a clean pair of heels on Tuesday become champion of Long Bennington School's traditional pancake race. This is a, a rare trip home for me. MBE. I left home when I was 16 years old, lived in Holland um, for about four years after school. We played on grass. Yeah. Which... My grand's a big inspiration um, to me and she used to be a hockey player as well. I guess you knew that I liked hockey the day that I gave you um, a black eye. I think it was a cricket bat. Yeah, actually. bounce the ball. Bounce the ball. Hit the cricket bat back. Straight in your I face. I had a beautiful <laughs> black eye. Yeah, I remember but that. When you were little, when we came for tea, be it a balloon or or a ball, you were dribbling round the t table, round yeah. the chair legs, and there was always a ball or something. So I've got my name on the village sign, but hopefully there's much more to come. We've got a really busy year this year with the Commonwealth Games in Australia and also the Home World Cup in London this summer. That's all for me though. This is Shona McAllen for East Midlands Today. <laughs>